Hey guys, Christina here, and today I have a review for you as well as a look and flip through of The Good and the Beautiful's Creative Writing Notebook Number 1. I just had two children complete this, and so I'm going to turn the camera around and give you a look at it, and then I'll come back and share my thoughts on it. So here's the three books that I printed myself from the PDF. These two were printed with the same printer. This one was printed with a different printer, so you can see the color difference and how it turned out. And then I just spiral bound them and added the plastic sheets on them myself. So I'll give you a look inside. You can see how one child drew a hole in there and he put hole. Isn't that very creative of him? So here's a look at the book. It's actually got an intro here that talks about good and beautiful style of writing. And that's divided into sections. So descriptive writing practice. So like here, they had to write different words for each of these colors. Small and big, sounds, times a day, describe the scene. So different things that they had to do there. Then there's writing exercises. So just a little bit of the story, emotions, beauty in ordinary moments, things like that. Then there's story starters. So a heart map, things that they love. Uh, things they don't love, possible main characters, character sketch, and then they moved on to poetry. And so sometimes they had to just brainstorm, sometimes they had to write um, just a couple of words or lines, and then they had to write poetry, There's some beautiful artwork in here. Then they moved on to full stories. So there's a lot of possible plots in here, developing the plot. And then at the end, they actually end up writing and there's a bit about overcoming writer's block here. And so that's kind of a look at what the book looks like. So every child is different, but I wanted to give a quick comparison of my child who is in sixth grade using the book versus my child who is in fourth grade versus my child who is in third grade. So it kind of gives you an idea of kind of how it might be differ for different ages or levels. All right, so my thoughts on it. I love that it is colorful, that it's vibrant, it has beautiful art in it, and that a lot of the sections don't have lines in them. And I thought that was a great idea because it really allows the creativity to come through. Sometimes children wanna draw bigger, or sorry, write bigger or smaller, they wanna do a little drawing. And so I really like the aspect of it. I, now, that said, my children didn't enjoy this at all. And I think it's just their personality and the stage of life that they're in. So my sixth grader and my fourth grader did complete the book. My third grader was finding it just too much and really struggling and so we said about halfway through the year, okay, let's just put it aside. I think if, if you have a child who really loves language or who really loves writing, then this might be a really good book for them. This course kind of might really complement what they want to learn and study. My children like to draw comics and that's how they express a lot of their creativity and that's just kind of where they're at. So while I love to read and I love to write and I thought this book is just fantastic at drawing out the details and the emotion and the kind of all those little details and things you can add in. They just didn't like it. So we're not going to continue on. We won't use the uh, number two notebook next year. We're just going to kind of leave it as it is. We may come back to it. I have younger children as well. They may come back to it. We'll just see. Now, um, if, in terms of affordability, it's super affordable. I believe if you buy this from them, it's about $14 US. And the PDF, I wanna say, is like nine US. Um, and you know, like I printed three of them. So if you have multiple children, the affordability is fantastic. And I actually got this um, download, the PDF for free from the company. When they first released it, they offered it for free for a set amount of time. And so that was fantastic for me and for the ability to give my children a chance to try this. So if you've used this and you, I'd love to hear your experience, just kind of, what did you think about it? What did your children think about it? You know, I corrected things here and there. I really tried not to correct too much of it, especially the stories they wrote at the end. I really tried to leave it just kind of free and let them do it and kind of work through their process on their own. And I didn't mark the end stories at all. 
So leave in the comment section down below if you have any questions or your thoughts on it. And I hope this finds you having a great day. Take care.